Grace and peace, grace and peace, grace and peace. Hold the line. Brother Keith, before we get into it, man, hit that subscribe button. If you're not part of the team yet, you like the biblical Jesus, you like truth, you think Jesus is, is the only answer, this is the channel for you. Hit that subscribe button. If you think you got the answers and you think you got it and you can bring something to the table, this probably ain't the channel for you. So leave your hateful comment, man, and kick rocks and go on down that road, Jack. <laughs> the gospel is the only answer. You know, Brother Corey, Smart Christian Channel, he made a video. You know, there's a lot of theologians and pastors out there, and it was on his video, Mason, and and uh, I forgot the other guy's name, man, Chandler. And, you know, they're all on this move where, you know, they're, they're, they're paralleling, like, pastoring people through marital problems. You don't just tell them that Jesus saves you and, 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 they're saying that the gospel is the answer at the end of the day, but it's not going to help the problems. But <laughs> did Jesus come back? I mean, let's just get the landscape of when Jesus was 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 around in that in that first century of what was really going down down there, man. And and there was all kinds of racial problems. There was, there, was, there was different ethnicities against each other. The Romans, they had the Jews, the Palestinians, the Samaritans, whatever, whatever. Same type of stuff happening. And did Jesus come? And was Jesus um, um, writing books and, 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 and doing different worldly things to try to bring people together? No, he was not. He came there and radically changed the landscape and, and shook the ground so much that they put him on a cross for it. You know, he preached the law like it had never been preached, showing men that they cannot keep the law and that the only way to heaven is through Jesus. And what he was ultimately going to do on that cross is the spotless lamb and the ultimate sacrifice. The Jews were looking for this Messiah to come back and reign and take over and, 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 and whatnot. And, and the Messiah was actually a holy, a totally different, a totally different outcome than, than, than they, they were taught about by the, um, the Pharisees. Who, who, pre who Jesus preached against. Jesus comes back and he's preaching to the meek, the tax collectors, the sinners, the prostitutes. You know, so that's what we do now with the drug addicts and people that are so far from God. We bring the gospel to them. And then by bringing the gospel to people, in turn, hearts start to change. You start taking to account the laws of God, which the first two are love God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and love your neighbor as you love yourself. Now, that's the answer. Simply put. Love your neighbor. Love God with everything that you got. And love your neighbor. It's simple. But people don't want it simple. They want to they want to drag all this stuff out. They want to write their little books. They want to cause controversy. They want to direct view they want to direct um people to their channel to subscribe and start listening to their narratives and what they think that, you know, what at, what ends up happening ultimately is these people just become talking heads, talking about issue after issue after issue after issue. And I don't know a lot of these guys um what, what they do when they're not behind the camera. I can only speak for myself. Being on the front lines of drug addiction. You know what I mean? Being on the front lines of people just getting out of prison. Or sentenced to the program that I serve at. Where I get to give them the gospel. I don't give them a, a formula of how we need to do things when they get out of the program. I give them the gospel. So, so God can draw them in. I pray that God draws them because we're, there's nothing in us. There's nothing in us that seeks God. It takes his power to draw us to him. It, that, that's it. I mean, Jesus says it time and time again in scripture. You know, no one comes to me unless the father draws them. And that's in effect right now. 
So you can talk all day long, and I do. There's there, there's people in, in in the program I'm at that I talk to them till I'm blue in the face, and they just don't get it. And why is that? Because God's not drawing them. Their hearts are hardened. Their ears are sealed. And I just pray that God's continued to work with them like he did with me so he can mold that clay into what he needs them for. Because ultimately, God's will is so, is so, it's God's. We're not going to be able to put our finger on it. We're not going to be able to figure it out. But some way, like it says in Romans 8, 28, everything works according to his purpose. Everything, all things, all things. From the dope boy in the corner. All the way to the uh, to the prostitute out there selling herself, to the to, to the junkie that's around this bridge right now. I'm looking at that's sticking a needle in his arm. All these things are going to work and in in, 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 in end up being for his glory to glorify his name. So what's our job down here? We're here to glorify God by what our works and our works are a result of our salvation. They're not to get us there. So, so, so these, these so-called celebrity preachers, celebrity po apologists also, that you can't square them down on certain issues where at times they sound progressive and at other times they sound like they're orthodoxy. So, so which one are you, my man? Which side of the fence are you on? Because it seems like a lot of these guys, the more subscribers that they get, the more they have to push a narrative to continue their channels to growing. Look here, on this side of the tracks, Jack, well, I don't give a rip if I got one or if I got a million. I'm, I'm going to do like Seiko Wood says. I'm going to be faithful with, with, with the few so I can be faithful to the many. So who cares about some views? I don't care about a YouTube check. You know, I don't care about... I don't care about none of that. I'm on here to glorify God, bring truth. And at the end of the day, if the gospel is not offending the unsaved and the natural man, then we're not preaching the real gospel. We're not preaching it. We're not letting them know then that, hey, man, there ain't no other way to the heaven, my friend. The only way is through Jesus. You're not going to go through that door. If you deny Jesus, you will not make it through the door. And that's offensive to them. So the gospel is designed and made to be offensive. If it's not offending people, I heard somebody say, if you go into a, a Mormon church and you preach and everybody in there doesn't get offended, you're not preaching the gospel. You're not. This is hold the line. We're going to hold this thing down. Shouts out to my brothers. Uh, proverbial life. Smart Christian Channel, Seiko Woods. Uh, let me not forget nobody. Um, um, I like me some uh, uh, Miss Titus too. I like her. Um, they're, they're, if I miss any of y'all, I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, preach Christ or die. Um, my, my brother's in the struggle that we're going to hold this line. We're going to continue doing what we do. And and oh oh oh, another favorite channel of mine is uh. Oh man, what's this guy's name, man? He just he just messaged me. I just found him last week. Bible. Um. Oh man, my brother. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm forgetting your name right now, man. I don't want to redo this video or anything like this. But uh, I, I'll actually do a um. I'll do a video on this brother's uh, content. But the gospel. It's the only answer. There's no other way. L love God with all your heart, mind, and soul and love your neighbor as you love yourself. Not love God with all your heart, mind, and soul and only love your neighbor because he's a black dude or because he's a Spanish guy a and forget about your white brothers or sisters because once we're in Christ, once we're in Christ Jesus, there is no longer a color. There's, e there's no longer even male nor female. We're all one in Christ Jesus. We're all serving the same God. Color does not matter. That's things out the window. These are the, these are things of man. Ethnicities, like the, when they're saying race, this is stuff that man created races. You understand? There's ethnicities. You know, there's different people from different places. And it's been going on this since the garden. Hold the line. You.